lovelies! I hope you're all well. So today we are going to make a Halloween lantern. Now you can see that I've got my lantern kind of basic shapes all done and I'm going to include this in the community. So I will link to it in the description below and when you come in it will be exactly like this so that you can actually create your own designs to go in your lantern. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Now it's obviously all been sized up for how I want it. If you want to size it differently we're just going to highlight it all we're going to align and then center and you can then of course make it larger or smaller and it will then all stay in proportion. So these are going to be your vellum cuts out or even if you wanted to do vinyl you could do stained glass vinyl instead. Just something transparent and colorful for those. And then this is our actual two lantern pieces. I advise using cardstock, that's what we're going to use today. So I want to decorate this one first, so I'm going to go into images. I've searched for witch hat and I'm just going to click on that one. I'm then going to search for bat and I think we'll choose that one. And I'm just going to search for a few more Halloween kind of uh, pictures. But of course if you wanted to upload your own you can do that as well. So you can see I've got all my images in here. There's not a lot I need to do with them. There's just one or two that I want to change slightly. So with this one I just want to ungroup it and I just want to see. Uh, so the base layer has still got the spider. That's okay we're just going to delete those. And that spider is just, especially with the craft card that I'm going to use today, it's just not going to translate very well. So we're just going to get a circle. I'm just going to reduce that down. And I'm just going to come in and just slice the spider away. So then the only other thing I want to do is if we look at the cat, we'll see that those inner nose pieces we'll lose because we're using card and also the mouth as well. So I'm just going to contour out those nose pieces because there's no point cutting them. And then with the mouth, I do want that to stay as it is. So we're just going to zoom in and I'm going to grab a shape, just a square, and I'm then going to make it into just a line going to lock it and duplicate it and then I'm just going to bring it over and I'm just going to turn it so it follows the curve of that mouth slightly and then we're going to do the same with the other one and then we can highlight it all and we can weld so that's then going to keep the mouth where it is. I then need to place my item, so I'm going to do that now. And you can sit and play, I mean I can sit and play for ages doing that. But I'm just going to work out where I want them all to sit. So once you're happy with it, we're then just going to come in, you're going to click on each of your panels and you're going to detach them because you want to detach your score lines. We're then just going to come in and hide the score lines and we're going to do the same for this one. So we're going to detach and then we can hide the score lines. I'm then going to come in, I'm going to highlight and I'm going to weld. And I'm going to do exactly the same with this one. So I'm going to highlight and weld. I'm then going to arrange and move to back and the same with this one, arrange and move to back. I can then bring back all my score lines and they're going to be in exactly the same position. I'm going to highlight again and I'm going to attach my score lines and again I'm going to do exactly the same with this one so I'm going to attach those score lines. And then that's it, I just need to bring back my translucent squares or rectangles. I'm going to be using vellum for these today, so we can then go to make it. As you can see we've got our two score and cut mats and then we've got our cut mat. So again we can go to continue. I am using my maker today but if you were using your air or your air 2 you're just going to turn your dial around to custom. 
So with this layer, I'm going to, as I say, use vellum. So I'm going to go all the way down to paper and I'm going to choose the vellum setting because we are using Cricut vellum today. And with my cardstock layer, I'm going to browse all materials and I'm going to choose craft board today. You'll see it's telling me I need to load the double scoring wheel. Obviously here in the UK, we don't have the scoring wheel yet. So we're just going to edit tools and scoring stylus. So for my translucent windows, I'm using some of the Cricut Metallic Vellum Sampler. Don't forget to change your cut setting in Design Space if you're going to change your cut materials. So we've got our cutout and the first thing you need to do is just go along and you're going to fold all of the score lines. So we need to glue our vellum windows in place on the inside. I'm just using some art glitter glue today. So now we can start constructing it. So I'm gonna work on the one with our bottom piece first. I'm going to glue the first flap. Now you can choose whether you want your flap on the inside or the outside. I actually prefer the outside. So I'm just going to do that and then we can glue it in place. And you want to hold it for about a minute or so. We're then going to glue this side piece and we're then going to add the next one on there. And again, you want to hold it in place for about a minute. We can also come in and glue that bottom tab. And again, you just want to hold them in place. Finally, we've got our last side tab. So we're just going to add some glue onto that. And then actually, finally, we are going to glue the last bottom tab in, in place. Then all we need to do is add some battery operated candles. Please do not be putting real candles in these. We do not need any fires. Mm -hmm. 